25 times Manny Pacquiao show crazy bossy man hit that like and subscribe fight Pacquiao welcome back fight fans to another video here on the fight game Manny Pacquiao is a boxer from the Philippines who has become not only a worldwide recognizable name but a global inspiration he began his career in 1995 not to win a world title, but to simply put food on his table for himself and his family. He made his name known throughout local communities. Boxing quickly became his life, and worldwide domination ensued. The reign of Manny Pacquiao is one of the most notable in boxing history. At his peak, Pacquiao was near unbeatable. A boxer has many ways to accomplish victory inside a boxing ring by knockouts through technical submission or with superior skills. In this video, we take a look at 25 examples where Manny Pacquiao showed crazy boxing capability to achieve a victory, where we break down the skills Pacquiao used along with what separates him from the rest. First, Pacquiao hitting the body with the second shot, resulting in a drop of the guard from Koto. We've seen Pacquiao use this path of attack in numerous fights, which brings us to his fight against Keith Thurman. Bit of a smile from Manny Pacquiao. Oh, down oh. goes Thurman! Here, Pacquiao again uses that same combination. Throw to the head, throw to the body, then land to the head. This punch on Antonio Margarito was the cleanest punch of the night. It's just mentally telling physically fatigued both. Right now, that is Pacquiao lands a right hook while Margarito overextends on a right hand. In that same fight, Pacquiao had this Matrix-style sequence against the ropes. There was another left-hand rally by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao dodges Margarito's punch by the tiniest amount, then returns over the top with a right hook. Pacquiao has an underrated defense with excellent spatial awareness and ring intelligence. In Pacquiao's fight versus Joshua Clotty, Clotty refused to engage with Pacquiao. People gave Cotto a couple of rounds, the first and the fifth. Pacquiao found humor in Clotty's unwillingness to fight by double punching with both hands at the same time. Pacquiao knocked Shane Mosley down with a straight left hand. Well, he is a Pacquiao left hand. Notice the feint before throwing the left hand to make Mosley flinch. Pacquiao also set the left hand up with a feint in the Marquez fight. Down the middle by Marquez as he did on a quick left foot there. And he the feint right hand, straight left hand is a blend of deception and destruction. Mayweather versus Pacquiao was the biggest fight in the last few decades. And this double left hand from Pacquiao is just epic. And he has the power to do it. He doesn't use the luggage. Landing one punch on Mayweather is hard enough, but to land two consecutively with the same hand is seriously impressive. Pacquiao's fight against Oscar De La Hoya was a one-sided beatdown, and this four-punch combination was simply brutal. Pacquiao is so fast, we have to slow the footage down to see the effect of each punch. Also take notice of how each punch has its own trajectory. Back to the Mayweather fight, Pacquiao lands a great counter left hand. Pacquiao parries Mayweather's jab, then throws the left hand straight while also moving his head to the right. In the Bradley fight, Pacquiao used this awesome move with the left hook. Pacquiao rolls under Bradley's left hook, then lands a left hook of his own on the way up. We also saw this move against Juan Manuel Marquez. Jim, I tell you, that, that one point The roll puts the opponent off balance and makes them fall onto the hook. This is a great move and very similar to the Dempsey roll. Perhaps we should call this the Pac-Man roll. Pacquiao is generally always faster than his opponents. Standing right in front of Brandon, I don't look. Here, Pacquiao beats Rios Pacquiao to the punch with an intersection of the left hand. Pacquiao's only fight at 135 pounds ended just as you might expect. Yeah, we wondered whether Manny would be able to rise to the level, but he seems to be wow. A thunderous short left hand thrown downward shattered the jaw of Diaz, 
knocking him out cold. We saw a punch similar to this against Marquez. Pacquiao throwing the punch downwards penetrates the guard of Marquez, knocking him down. This knockdown of Tim Bradley may look a little strange. Looks like Bradley is not only a great boxer, but a gymnast too. Pacquiao's fight against Margarito was full of fast combinations. Possibly going to travel on this only because of Watch here how Pacquiao pulls Margarito's hand down after with his right hand to set up another attack. Here, Pacquiao nearly scores a knockdown against Adrian Broner. Pacquiao steps back to avoid the jab, then sneaks in a straight left hand through the guard. A low head position helps Pacquiao invade the tight defense. In that same fight, Pacquiao landed this right hook. Pacquiao ducks below Broner's lead hand, setting up an unusual angle of attack to land this great punch. Here, Pacquiao lands a great body shot on Thurman. Looking out his right hand. That's always precede. Pacquiao lands a great left hand around the side, and Thurman had to take out his mouth guard just to breathe. The trilogy between Pacquiao and Eric Morales was jam-packed with back and forth action. When we thought Morales was going down, oh, and he does go down. Here, Pacquiao lands a short left hand to the side of the head to knock Morales down. In the second fight, Pacquiao landed a right hook counter in the first round. I've never seen him this thick. Oh, and a beautiful right. This is similar to the hook against Broner. Pacquiao falls onto his back leg to dodge a jab, and with the momentum, he throws a right hook over the lead hand of Morales. This electrifying knockdown in round three solidified Pacquiao's victory over Eric Morales. He's trying to shake it off, but he's been hurt. Oh, yeah. Pacquiao, oh, down. that's the fight. That's it. Pacquiao's superior speed oh, makes wow. hitting a moving target easier for him than it is for most, and his left hand is without a doubt one of the deadliest punches in boxing history. To all the people around the world love boxing, thank you to all your support with us. Thank you very much. Pacquiao's win over Marco Antonio Barrera sent shockwaves around the world. This knockdown showed the power Manny held, knocking down a great Mexican fighter. Pacquiao is a boxer who just loves to fight. Against Marquez, we saw an all-out war. Time. That was 25 times where Manny Pacquiao showed crazy boxing skills. So Manny Pacquiao is a name comments. synonymous with greatness that will go down in history as one of the greatest ever. That's unquestionable. Manny Pacquiao has become the fighter that he needed to be to reach the top. Filipino assassin who fights with a smile on his face. A superstar emerges in San Antonio. And another tremendous night for Manny Pacquiao. A familiar and richly satisfying continuing story in boxing. What is questionable, however, is just how good is Manny Pacquiao. Is he in the top 20, top 10, top 5, or right at the top at number 1? Of course, a question like that is subjective. Some fans prefer different styles of fighting, and what really makes someone great is viewed differently by different people. But perhaps the greatness of a fighter shouldn't be based only on in-ring achievements. I should say that the greatness of a fighter isn't only measured by that, but how great others come to be because of you. Pacquiao, like Muhammad Ali, is a boxer who heavily impacted the people of this world. When we begin to talk about things like that, we're talking about things that are bigger than boxing, things that transcend the boxing ring. If one thing can be certain above all else, it's that Manny Pacquiao is a boxer who has made a profound impact on not only the sport of boxing, but on millions of people around the world. When Pacquiao leaves the sport, he will be dearly missed, and the people will reminisce for generations to come. The footprint of Manny Pacquiao is clear, acknowledged, and everlasting. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here.